二零一一年嘅福岛核泄事件，至今已经差唔多三年啦。人就好似埋手喺泥土下面嘅鸵鸟，早已经忘记呢个事故，继续开心前往日本。日本旅行团嘅销情上升，而兑换日元嘅酒碗店更加大排长队。但系事实上，三一一核泄发生之后，破烂嘅核电厂系摇摇欲坠，东电不断隐瞒事件嘅严重性，宣称情况已经受控。并且对于种种指控亦一一嘅否认，但系另一方面，日本首相却系声称日本无法控制核泄，并且泄漏辐射水嘅浓度喺近几个月屡创新高。There's a worrying spike in a radiation at the Fukushima nuclear plant. Readings from a water storage tank have rocketed six and a half thousand times higher in two days. A powerful typhoon swept through Japan earlier this week, causing toxic water to be released into a drainage ditch leading to the Pacific Ocean. It's compounded what's been a worsening situation at the plant in recent months. Serena Galushko explains. Two and a half years to admit the painful truth. Japan needs help. We are wide open to receive the most advanced knowledge from overseas to contain the problem. My country needs your knowledge and expertise. The past few months have been marked by growing problems at Fukushima. Several workers have been exposed to radiation, the levels of which are reportedly at their highest since the accident in 2011. And on top of that, there's the issue of leakage. This is the reactor. Inside it is the reactor core, the actual nuclear part of the plant. This is water, which is used to cool the nuclear core so it doesn't burst in flames. That water obviously has to go somewhere, so it goes into a special container, which is slightly below the reactor itself, where irradiated water is stored and then filtered. Unfortunately, at the Fukushima plant, the situation is such that this container with the irradiated water is located on the very seashore. This is the ocean, and the problem with the Fukushima is that there is a leak, supposedly, right here. So from there, the irradiated water is flowing into the Pacific Ocean. 原因，自三一一事件之后，东电不断向破烂嘅核电厂射水降温，因此喺厂房四周建造水缸，存放流出嚟嘅辐射水。但系福岛不断遭强风吹袭，加上地震。就算破烂嘅厂房冇倒塌，周围嘅水缸亦出现渗漏，造成大量辐射进入地下水同太平洋。即使唔计算辐射物质由破烂嘅厂房飘散出去，亦唔难理解，当大量辐射水流入太平洋，海产自然会受到污染。因此，曾经被提名竞逐诺贝尔和平奖嘅澳洲籍医生 Helen Mary Caldicott 指出，已经唔可以食用日本食物，并且海产亦已经充满辐射。And the Japanese knew where the radiation was going because they had a system called Speedy that was measuring radiation. And the Americans were flying airplanes measuring the gamma radiation, and they knew where it was going. But they didn't tell the people because they didn't want to create panic. Panic. So the people, thousands of them, tens of thousands, fled into the path of the highest radiation level. Now that's criminal. Those people should be put into jail. And、uh, then what happened? Then, at the same time, huge amounts of water were being emptied into the Pacific Ocean. Every day since that accident, two and a half years ago, 400 tons of highly radioactive water are, are being released into the Pacific Ocean.、Uh, but the radiation is getting stronger because they built. The six reactors on an earthquake fault or nearby, on an old riverbed, and the water and the mountains are just behind Fukushima. So the water comes flowing down from the mountains under the reactors. Well, when the reactors were in one piece, they could use pumps to pump out that underground water. But now, the water is pouring down from the mountains and mixing with. The molten cores, the cores are called corium, and becoming extremely radioactive. They're pumping out about 300 tons of radioactive water a day, and there's a whole series of huge tanks, three stories high, 1,060,、uh, 
um, each containing, I can't remember how, I think there are 360,000 tonnes of radioactive water that are being pumped into these tanks. The tanks are made only to last five years. They've got rubber seals, they've got corroded joints, they're leaking. The workers, um, they had only two workers who, who would monitor these tanks and walk around every day with a Geiger counter. Um, and, you know, now, as the water leaks, the areas are becoming extremely radioactive. The work workers are being very exposed. They're running out of workers. They're bringing in um, workers, uh, people from, uh, who are mentally retarded, from mental hospitals and homeless from the streets of Tokyo. And the subcontractors for TEPCO, Tokyo Electric Power Company, are the Yakuza, who are the Japanese Mafia. And apparently, for many years, the nuclear industry in Japan has used Yakuza to supply the workers. The workers are getting really high doses of radiation, and they're really worried they're going to run out of, out of workers. Uh, as well as filling up these, and, they, and they've got nowhere else really to place any more tanks. But guess what, as my four-year-old grandson would say, guess what, Grandma? <laughs> this is going to go on for the next 50 years. And if there's another earthquake greater than seven on the Richter scale, these tanks are going to collapse. And what will happen to the water? They're just adjacent to the Pacific. Now you're lucky, you live on the Atlantic, I live on the Pacific. And there's a, there's a plume of radiation going across directly from Fukushima to the west coast, and I can't remember the name of the current, and it's very radioactive, and the plume of high radiation will reach the northern part of the west coast early next year and California later in the year in 2014. The catching tuna of the coast of California now that contains cesium from Fukushima. Because although the Pacific is a huge body of water and the isotopes get diluted, the solution to pollution by dilution is fallacious when it comes to radiation because the radioactive isotopes reconcentrate by orders of magnitude at each step of the food chain, algae thousands of times. Then the, cr the cr crustaceans eat the algae hundreds more times, and the little fish eat the crustaceans, and the big fish, and we stand at the apex of the food chain. So we, um, the food is most concentrated, and the isotopes are most concentrated in our bodies. You can't taste, smell, or see radioactive materials in the food you're eating. Um, don't buy any food from Japan. Much of the rice is radioactive. They're encouraging the Fukushima farmers to go back and farm on their land, which is extremely radioactive. Uh, the leafy vegetables are radioactive. Tea grown to the south of Tokyo, green tea is full of radiation. Um, and they're feeding radioactive food to kindergarten children. I held a conference in the New York Academy of Medicine in March called The Medical and Ecological Consequences of Fukushima with the best scientists in the world and the latest data from oceanographers who are measuring the Pacific and measuring the fish and the whole thing. And uh, you can download it from my website, helencaldicottfoundation.org. I'll write it on the uh, thing soon. Uh, and and it's going to be published in a book called Crisis Without End by the New Press shortly. And it's got all the latest data about Fukushima, the animals, the birds, the humans, the oceans, the pollution, the predictions of, of cancer. If a million people have already died or more from Chernobyl 28 years previously, and 40% of the European landmass is going to be radioactive for the next 300 to 1,000 years, so people are going to be, I don't eat any European food because I don't know what's radioactive and what's not. Don't ever eat any J J Japanese food again. No miso, no seaweed, no, um, no fish, no nothing. They're exporting, they want to export their radioactive beef.